Hi, my name is Delray Dumont, and my family is from Onion Lake Cree Nation, Saskatchewan, and I am a pointillism artisan. I started my career um, in oil and gas. I left the oil and gas industry in July of 2014, and I um, was I was applying for other oil and gas type uh, positions, but at that point, my heart wasn't in it. And then I um, picked up my paintbrushes and I started painting full time. And that's where I discovered, you know, July of 2014, I discovered pointillism. And then I um, started going to art shows, um, just showing my own artwork and prints and greeting cards and then I uh, started acquiring my friends works and before you know it my car was full of, of other people's work and my work and I thought you know what I'm gonna see if I can make a, a go of it as far as opening up my own gallery so in um, October 6, 2015, I opened up my own native art gallery in Didsbury, Alberta, and I, um, I, I absolutely loved it. Did it for, well, up till last spring, 2018. Um, I think I was in my third year of business and things were really going well for me as an artist and as my business. I won um, several uh, business awards and really getting the acknowledgement of being a business person and what I was trying to accomplish. And um, however, but my husband uh, became sick with cancer and uh, he uh, eventually passed away from it. And so I had already made the decision to close because I thought I was going to be his full time caregiver. And uh, so, yeah, so I closed and uh, took a, basically a year off to, you know, figure out my life again and uh, picked up my paintbrushes last fall again and started painting, started attending art shows again and just getting back out there. And I have my moments where I just like, ugh, gotta step back from it and figure things out. But you know, everything's starting to come, come back for me again and, and being recognized again. How did I discover my love of art? Well, I've always been an artist since I was a child, always excelled in art. And um, uh, like I said, I, my style was realism, trying to make animals look real. Um, any subject that I did was based on realism. And then um, I discovered my love for pointillism when I saw a picture of a horse that um, was standing up on its hind legs and inside its body was snowflakes. And I thought it was the most beautiful painting ever. And I was just memorized by how, it, how, the, how his body glowed with the use of snowflakes. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna try that. But instead of snowflakes, I use dots. And so this is basically my style of pointillism. I paint my object first, my background, and get it to the colors that I wanna use. I use a lot of vibrant colors. And then I go crazy with dots. And it's not your true pointillism where, where a painting would be, you know, um, completely covered in dots. It varies depending on my subject. It could be a flat background with the object being dotted or, um, yeah, or the whole painting is a dot, is a bunch of dots. So um, a painting like this size, 16 by 20, could take me up to 30 to 40 hours to do. Something like this took me months <laughs> to do and, uh, um, I absolutely love it. It gets you into a mindset where you're just concentrating on your dots and you're, you um, just slow down your thought process and you can think about things more clearly. And I think it helps people um, a lot with their, um, you know, just uh, relaxing 
Um, it's almost meditating when you're doing it, and before you know it, it's it's uh, a lot of people, you know, think, "Oh my God, I can't do it." But um, I uh, also teach classes, and I say, "No, like you can do it. You can do it." And what when people say that they can't do it, and they they produce a painting, and it's just amazing their creativity and. Um, and they're amazed at themselves too when they when they paint a piece. I was there painting in, at the Canadian Embassy in front of 300 people, um, painting uh, two other dancers that that were actually there um, while they were dancing and performing. I was painting the portraits and and the paintings were about seven feet tall by three feet so it was quite a large task to do in one evening and I managed to get one dancer done and just the head and shoulders of the other one and so I uh, begged the Canadian Embassy if I could come back and finish off the other dancer because I didn't want to leave unfinished work and and I really wanted wanted it to represent my style as well and uh, yeah so that was an awesome opportunity it was kind of bittersweet too because I had um, I had uh, admitted my husband into the Tom Baker Cancer Clinic and and so it was just a whirlwind trip It's so important. It's part of our culture and everything that we do. It's our song, it's our dance, it's our paintings, it's our beadwork. Um, and it varies so, so much across Canada. Our styles are so different. Um, yeah, it's just, it's who we are. I think we've been doing it for thousands of years and, and I think it's important to keep